Hello Crafty Stampers, this is Crafty Chick and this is part three and the final video of my mini book series. If you missed the first two, you can go back and find them. Just look under mini book, uh, part one and part two. In the previous videos, we made a book like this and we decorated it with designer series paper. Now we're going to finish the project. So you don't want to miss out. Go back to video one, uh, video part one and part two. And again, I split up all my videos into different parts because most of us have busy lives and we don't have two hours to sit and watch one video. Um, if you do have two hours to sit and watch one video, wow, I wish I was you. You have a fantastical life. I wish I had eight hours a day just to do crafting. I'm so jealous. So then you can watch all three at once after the other. But moving on. So this is what I have to decorate. I'm going to use to decorate and we're going to do it together. This is boop, 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 uh, Stampin' Up! Rhinestone Basic Jewels and I love bling. Bling, bling, bling. That should be my middle name. There's nothing too sparkly or too blingy for me. This is the Share What You Love Pearls. And I'm probably going to use a lot of those because to make this, as if you remember, we use the Share What You Love Designer Series Paper. And this is the Blackberry Bliss cardstock. Let's see what else we have. We have some pearlized doilies. Aren't these gorgeous? Ooh, of course, you know, as you, as everybody says in all their videos, but it's true, you know it's true. Um, the effect of some of these items are lost in the video, so, but trust me, these are silvery and they've got like a pearl, a pearlescent finish, even though they probably just look white. All right. Whoops. Put those in their little baggie. And we have some faceted dots. And these are in different colors. Uh, I think it is, whoops, it looks like grapefruit and black and mint macaroon. Very pretty. Those will coordinate nicely. Let's see what else do we have in our swell bag. Oh, 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 I forgot I had these. I pre-make these. I'll have to show you in a video. This is just vellum and a Celebrate stamp from the Beautiful You stamp set, which is one of my three favorite stamp sets. Um, I just, sometimes I just have random things. I, I feel like doing something crafty today, but I don't want to do an entire project. So I'll just stamp a bunch of stuff on vellum, cut it out, and then I'll use it someday. So I might just put it on one of these. We'll see. What else do we have? Those are, our, let's see, those are my party bags. Okay, and I have another bucket full of string. Oh my goodness, that was a hard rough kick. Sorry, it's full of string and ribbon. So here's some of my favorite it is the Rich Razzle Berry. That will be perfect on this one because it matches. That is, it's a, the original comes in a roll like this and it is velvet guys, velvet. Um, if I, once I open this, this will be like the third wall I went in, went through and I already gave two others away. This is pretty. This is Merlot and it's got a ribbon on it with it because someone gave it to me as a gift. Well, not just somebody, Nicole, who is my mentor and upline. And, um, this also is some stamping up ribbon. And it looks gold. I don't think I have any of that yet. Perhaps, perhaps not. It's probably in the um, the holiday book. But it sure does go well with this, doesn't it? 
pretty, pretty. I'll have to see what that is. I'll find out and put it at the bottom. I don't want to waste your time by flipping through the holiday book now. It might take me a few minutes to find it. So we're going to use some coordinating pieces like that. And I'm going to make this a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing and move all our other materials out of the way. Let's see. I've got some, oh, pretty twine. This is nature's twine and it matches. Of course it does. Everything matches. Where is it? It matches. Uh-oh. Okay. I have to make a nice pile. I just dropped these all over on the side into one big pile. And now, of course, because that always happens, I can't find something. Here we go. These match these. Ta-da! That's going to be gorgeous. Yeah, that's grapefruit, mint macaroon, um, rich raspberry, and don't get me a lion. Uh, around? I don't know. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, I haven't memorized every single color. Ooh, and I have some pool party shimmer that will match that color. So it's just crazy. Everything matches everything. It's just super, super awesome. Here's some powder pink shimmer ribbon that will match that. So yeah, I'm going to ribbon the heck out of this. You betcha. Ooh, and this will match too. This matches these as well. So we've got Tranquil Tide, Lemon Lime Twist, Berry Burst, Fresh Fig, and Powder Pink. Sweet. Oh my goodness. Slap me silly. This whole time I've been saying this is rich razzleberry. You know what? Silly me. This is fresh fig. Oh my gosh. 157,000 apologies. Ooh, and this will go well too. This is... The Whisper White Polka Dot Tool, Very Vanilla Polka Dot Tool. Ooh, I see some Polka Dot Tool in my future. All right, so we have a lot of bling. Let's get cracking. You know what, since I didn't put any paper here, I think I'm going to put these in here. Oh my gosh, it fits perfectly. That's beautiful. Holy wow, wow, wow. Okay, so I'll be, let's see, which side is the pearly side? I'm just going to take a piece out of that. That's the pearly side. Oh my gosh, guys, that is gorgeous. All right. Now what I want to do is put some of these little doodads in here. Let's see, this one. Ooh, that goes pretty right there. Can you even see it? It's too light. Maybe I should put it on a different page. Oh, right here. There. That's better. We'll put some bright ones. A big one and a little one and a medium-sized one. I like to do everything in threes. Um, I think that's how a lot of the crafting world does it. Press, 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 press. These are already have sticky on them, so it sticks pretty good. I mean, I'm really trying to push that off. So you just got to press down a little bit. Okay. Oh, wow, that's pretty. And actually, ooh, I wished I had done a different color there, but it's too late now. Okay, I'm going to... Do a couple different colors and you know I'll, you see a lot of people using tools to pick these off um, you do not have to use tools it makes it easier sure but if you don't have any don't let that stop you from being creative please God gave you fingers and they work for so many things right I'm going to put a couple different pieces here just to be there. I think that looks pretty too. Okay, now what else are we going to do? Um, ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Oh, these are real shiny. So let's put some on. 
Ooh, that that's real pretty. That fits right there. And we'll put I like to put a bunches together because it pops out a little bit better than just doing one. And I like the idea of doing these multicolors together. Oops. Boop bitty boop bitty boop. Get in here. That's pretty. You know what? Ooh, ooh, I have a better idea. If I can get them off. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put them here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, put them down here. Oh, it's so hard to get off. Glad I didn't press them too hard yet. Oh, that's better. Sorry. I'm doing things off camera. Everything is so tiny. I'm trying to make sure you see it. Oops, even though we're... Whoa. No. One at a time. Okay. I know I said I like to do things in threes, but I also want to get all these colors. So pretty. Or I could put them across here, too. Anything would work. Well, let's see. Let's get a couple pieces over here. Um, yeah. This one is good too, since we've got this piece. Come on, fingers. Where'd it go? Okay, it's probably stuck to something. I don't know where it went. I will find it uh, when I'm done. Okay, that one went bye bye. Do, 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 do. Now, I actually do have a tool for this, so I don't know why I'm not using it. <laughs> Sometimes I try not to use tools because I want to show you guys how how much easier, or, or not how much easier, but, you know, you can be creative too without special tools. As much as I love my special tools. Okay, yeah. I don't know if I like how that's coming out, so, oh, nope, oops, I left the sticky behind, oh my gosh, yeah, that's not going to work. Taking these off is not the best idea, because they stick really well, by the way. So, oh well, like I said, there's no mistakes. I don't want to use that one. Let's use here this one. I'm sure yours will come out much better than mine. I'm just kind of playing a little bit. Okay, so you can do that. Decorate some stuff. Let's get some ribbon and uh, easy way to make a bow. Let's see. Let's get in the camera. Okay, um, I'm going to use a darker piece so you can actually see better. This is better. Okay. Make the rabbit ears. Um, that might be too big. Okay, that'll be good. Make the rabbit ears. And I don't like to cut my bow off, I mean my ribbon off the roll until I'm done making my bow. In case I want to undo it and make it bigger. So wrap the rabbit ears around each other, over and under, and through. And then this way I can just, I think this will come out okay. Do, 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 do. Yes, I have to sing while I do this. I usually have music on when I craft, but you know what? You can't upload videos with music in the background because it's copyrighted and they just won't let you do it. Sorry guys and gals and crafters. Ooh, there, that one came out good. Sometimes it takes me a minute to get my my bow oh, mojo. All right. I make that I like to make them the edges like that. Mm, 45 degree angle, I guess that would be. Now that's 
could be, let's see, that is a very, uh, it's a good contrast. Let's put it that way. Oh, there we go. That's prettier. See, that will look good. And then we can put a glue dot or um, double-sided tape or whatever you want. Now, I am going to do glue dots. I ran out of my mini glue dots. I'm waiting for my order to come in. Sad but true. I used those guys so much in my last projects that I ran out. I love the glue dots. So these are from the Paper Pumpkin. These are still stamping up, but they're for, from the Paper Pumpkin. And I personally, I'm trying to do it there so it stays on the plastic. There it is, see? I like to put at least two, if not three, mini glue dots on my bows um, if they're this big. Because these things adhere very well, but you can never put too many glue dots on a bow. That is just my opinion. There. That came out very, very nice. Not bad. There was a day when I could not make bows ever. And then we'll put a little bling on the bow. I really don't like these, but they're already on there. So <laughs> just doesn't do it for me. Darn it. Okay. And um, let's see, you can also just wrap ribbon up here on the top if you want. Ooh, I might do that. Yeah, you can just put some ribbon across the top. Or, oh, that's even better, guys. Yes. Oh, I should have done that first. Look, if you put ribbon here, and then that's the pocket, right? Oh, my gosh, isn't that pretty? Mm -mm -mm. Yes, it is. But I already have some bling on there. I'll do that on my next one. That is nice. Okay, so I'm going to do another bow. And if you don't like bows, you can always do knots. I know some people who just don't do bows ever, so they just do the knots. All right. So while I'm creating, I hope you're trying to get some creative juices flowing as well and thinking about what you can do. Um, you can also make circles or put people, um, people, you know, that lady from um, my beautiful you stamp. See, I'm all fingers, my thumbs all of a sudden. All right, I have to focus over and under and through. There we go. There. I guess I can't walk and talk and chew bubblegum at the same time, huh? That one's too big, way too big. And I don't want to cut the ribbon off on the end. I don't like to waste ribbon. Okay, that should be better. Over, under, and through. There we go. Much better. All right, it took me months to be, to get my bows to come out nice. I took lots of practice. I actually sat in front of the TV and practiced making bow after bow after bow and just kept using the same ribbon over and over until it became shredded because I was going to learn how to make pretty bows if it killed me. And apparently it didn't kill me, so... And I'm gonna fuss with it for 10 minutes afterwards. Huh, it's not exactly perfect on both sides. I need a little bit more on this. Like that. This is, this one is, mm. okay. 
enough. It's not going to get any better. Um, where are they? Here they are. Okay, so now we're going to do these. One, two. Come on, glue dot stick. Something sticking to my finger instead. All right, that one's stuck to the plastic, so I can do that. That's my preferred method. There we go. Because sometimes it sticks to my finger. All right, so I'm going to put that one over here on the other side. There. And I want to put a little bling bling in the middle. Let's see. I will put. Do I have a nice green one? Yes, I do. All right. I'm going to put a green bling in the middle. There we go. Just to give it a little, uh, I don't know, something. And I do have some of these celebrate. So, you know, you're going to want to put gifts in here. So you get the idea of how to decorate it, right? I'm sure you do. So you also, um, I'll glue these on later. You want to do, put gifts and stuff in here too, right? So you can put candy in there. You can put items that you've made. Um, I have a bunch of miscellaneous pre-cut items that I made. Let's see. Oh, here are some of the from the jars of love that I made. So if you want to give them pre-cut items, you know, if you're in a swap and you want to give them some things, there you go. You can fit those in there. And you want to make one for Christmas. We have beautiful Christmas paper and a lot of great uh, Christmas thinlets and dies so you could stamp some things and put them in there. Um, oh, my little lady. This is the, I was saying, put people in there. I love this lady. So you could put her here and make her permanent part of the book, or you could put her in here as a little gift for your swapping partner. And oh, here's a little flower I made and um, this is this is a pretty cool you just take a circle punch and then you slice these up and make petals um, what is her name basket something basket she she came up with this idea or that's the only person I saw doing it so I'll, I like to give credit where credit is due. And see, you can just fit little gifts. Um, I don't have any candy in here with me because I try not to keep, I don't like to have food in my craft room. It's a good way to get icky all over your papers and things. Let's see what else. Oh, I have some flowers. And little other little things. So you can do that. You can put flowers in it. What else? Oh, buttons. And oh, here's some bows you could put on. So um, just all kinds of stuff. Now, pretend you didn't see those because those are not stamping up items. So anyway, <laughs> now I'm going to figure out which drawer they went in. i got drawers and drawers over here. Okay, so you get the idea. And you can put whatever you want, jingle bells, you can put, you can make little um, tags like my friend made for me and put the tag in there. Make them a birthday tags um, so that they can use them on birthday presents or make a miniature card and put the miniature card in there. Um, ooh, guess what? I just had a, look at that. That would fit nicely on the back of a tag. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, or if you wanted to give them some 
some of this as a gift, you know, unwrap it and make a nice little bow out of it and put it inside the package, inside the pocket. So many options, so many. I'm sure you guys will come up with some more stuff, good ideas on what to put inside these. Um, whatever you can find. Individually wrapped candies, cookies, little tiny things of tea bags. Oh yeah, people like tea, tea bags. And maybe some individual um, creamers, you know, the little packs of dry creamer. Anyway, so that's it. And then um, the final duda is when you close this, it will, like I said, it will be a little bit fat. So you've got a couple options. You can use a belly band, which I already have one pre made. I don't know what I did with it. So we'll just do another one. Okay. So basically, a belly band is going to be a piece of paper that goes all the way around this and holds it together. Or you can do a ribbon. I like to do a ribbon, but I already put the top cover on here. Darn it all. I usually put a ribbon under here. Let's try this. So we'll put a ribbon here. And I definitely need glue for this. Okay, I'm going to, you can put a piece here and then wrap it all around. So, yeah, okay. You can wrap it around like this and just have it glued on the back and put a piece of paper to hold that. What I usually prefer to do, but I didn't do it this time, shoot, is to put these papers on last. And then you put this ribbon underneath and then you get your paper. Okay, it's right in front of me, which is why I can't find it. And you put your paper piece over that so it hides the ribbon. But for now, we're going to do it a little bit differently. And like I said, there's a ton of YouTube videos out there for this type of thing. Let's go ahead and pretend that we're going to tie it around the book. Do, do. And before you stuff it, um, the book is going to be a lot thinner. So what you want to do is have a lot of extra ribbon. Give yourself a little extra. So how much, let's see how big I made this. I'm going to measure this off. Okay, this is 20 inches. Because I'm allowing myself a little bit of give and leeway. Because this is going to be fat, fat, fat when I get done stuffing it. So I'm going to do this and then I'm going to put my glue here. You can put it here or on the ribbon, but I prefer to try and also hmm, another thing. If I push this too far, this is not going to be able to stretch. So let's give it some room here. Okay. Yep. Let it. So there you go. Let enough. Yeah. Enough so that you can put your finger there. That should be enough room in case you get it fattened up because we have to consider the width. So yeah. How about that? That'll work. There. And then Come on, glue. That's just my way to get the, it's like knocking the ketchup bottle. All right. Very carefully. I can still put my finger in there. Now I'm going to hold on to that for a minute. Not a real minute. Just a couple seconds. Okay. And you don't want to try to pull it apart until that sets. Glue does Glue takes a minute to set. Oh, that's right. Pull it back and rip it off. Mm-hmm. So, thanks, fingers. Come on, get to the bottom. I'm almost out of this glue. I should just store it upside down. 
then I don't have to worry about it. Uh, blah, 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 blah. It's all right. Now the thing about making a mess with the glue is I'm just going to put a piece of paper on top of it, so I'm not worried about that. So, yep. Okay, we're going to let that sit for a second. So, what was I going to show you? I can't remember. The ribbon and then something else. Anyway, so we'll do this. So, then you take the ribbon and let it dry bef longer before you do this part. But for the sake of time, because I'm at 30 minutes, um, let's see, this one's longer. So we're going to do over and over like that and wrap this one around. Apparently, I did not measure it as accurately as I thought I did. So, all right. There, that keeps the book closed. Ta-da! Then they can open it and look at it. And I like to keep the ribbon attached because it's very easy for them to lose it. And then they can go and wrap it up and do it. Now, if you don't want to do pockets, you can do make this um, like a wallet type thing so they can put pictures in here. Like if you want to send pictures of the grandkids, that would be really great for your grandparents or your parents. And then they just fold that up and mom can stick it in her purse. Cool, huh? So you made your own little memory book. So that is the end. Um, again, I didn't decorate the back. Do whatever you want. Decorate the back. And you don't have to use paper. You can use whatever you want. And I'm going to have to let this dry. So we'll just, yep. it is gorgeous. I'm just going to play with this for hours because it's, it's just really thick and sturdy. And um, this is going to be an awesome present for somebody. I know it is. Okay. Thank you for joining me again. I know your time is very valuable and I try to keep it quick. If I talked as much as I normally do face to face, this could be two hours long. <laughs> so keeping it brief to 30 minutes is a huge accomplishment for me guys, because I appreciate your time. I know it's valuable. I know you're busy. You have lots of things to do every day. And your crafting time sometimes is just little tiny minutes that you can carve out in the evening or in the morning or when your kids are at school. So I appreciate your time and I thank you for joining me and information will be below, of course, and feel free to reach out to me either through comments on the YouTube or private message me on Facebook. Um, Whatever you want to do, send me an email, ask me questions, make comments on how I can improve my videos or questions about the projects that I do, anything you want. And that's it. All right, then. This is a crafty chick saying thank you for joining me. Happy crafting. And have a super wonderful day.